With the release of Black Ops 6, there are Black Ops 6 Twitch drops that you can earn from watching my live stream for a couple of hours over at twitch.tv slash mark of a hero. After watching this informative or entertaining Black Ops 6 video, I highly recommend you guys check out the Twitch streams for a lot of action and nukes and some free rewards. Hopefully you enjoy. For Korean, I kind of understand because like he plays hardcore. It, it wouldn't be a good hardcore gun. I'd rather use something else for hardcore, but... Ooh. Let me come through here. Crazy, I start turning on the fucking tryhard and they start getting fucking clapped. I'm telling you, when I play Payback... So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino Rokwaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Multiplayer. In today's video, we're gonna be rocking and rolling with quite one of the most underrated ARs in the game, and has a really great killing potential at far ranges, and that's gonna be the Ames 85 AR. That looks absolutely beautiful, by the way, with that camo. The reason why I wanted to cover the Ames 85 here today is because, statistically, at far ranges, this gun has the fastest time to kill, which makes it one of the most consistent guns. You might not see too much potentiality, you know, up close, but when you really stretch those distances with this gun, it will not let you down. It has great accuracy. And with my number one class, which I got this gun to a very, you know, nice level to that you guys can enjoy with either eight attachments or five attachments, you guys can have the best of both worlds. I definitely recommend the eight attachment one personally. I was able to drop a nuke on payback with this gun while also grinding, uh, you know, for my rocket launchers. I actually just got my rocket launchers diamond. And let me know if you guys want to see a video on that in the future. But this Ames 85 is absolutely beast. If you guys are excited to see these two class setups, the five attachment, eight attachment class setup, the nukes, and everything in between, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I'm Hero, and I've been uploading a ton of Black Ops 6, you know, recently, because the game just came out, and I'm trying to get a nuke with every single gun in the game, and just be somewhat of like an entertainment center for you when it comes to Black Ops 6. If you're here for some awesome entertainment value, some awesome nukes, and hopefully a decent personality, then go ahead and stick around as we're trying to hit a quarter million subscribers. I've also have had very little sleep, but uh, that's enough of me my yapping. Let's go over the general loadout real fast. Our 9mm PM is the usual attachment, haven't used it too much. Tad's gonna be the stim shop for a nice little health boost. Lethal Semtex to finish off my opponents. Scavenger so I can keep getting my Semtexes and stim shots. Assassin for a little bit extra score. Double time to move around the map a lot more quickly. And then we also get enforcers we can move, you know, heal a lot more quickly. And then my wild card is actually Gunfire, which I actually ended up using a prestige unlock token on just because eight attachments is super sweet. Speaking of which, I'll show you guys the eight attachment class setup first, which I think is super overpowered. And then the five attachment class setup. So let's go ahead and show you guys that right now. So starting things off, with the optic, I like the Kepler Microflex. It's the cleanest optic in the game, and it really helps this gun because the iron sights aren't all that nice in my opinion. Muzzle-wise, I really like the suppressor. It allows us to stay off the minimap every time we shoot, and we have no downsides associated with it, allowing us to sneakily body our opponent. For the barrel here, we got the long barrel, allowing us to maximize our damage range, and thus this gun can be even meltier at far ranges because it's already the meltiest gun, meltiest AR in the game at long range. Underbarrel that I was using here was the vertical foregrip, but of course, if you're already a higher level or you end up getting some of these other attachments, I do recommend the ranger foregrip because it also gives you some sprinting movement speed, but the vertical foregrip would just make this gun a true laser beam. For the magazine here, we got the extended mag one, just because this gun runs through ammo really quickly and with just 30 rounds, it's not enough. So having 45 rounds at just the cost of reload quickness is definitely worth it. Rear grip, we got the commando grip for its to fire speed and ADS speed, bringing up the gun faster and giving us a faster time to kill. For a stock here, we got the balance stock, helping our strafing movement speed to win more gunfights, movement speed, hip fire movement speed, aim walking movement speed. It's pretty much just gonna help us, you know, move around the map a lot more effectively and outplay our opponents with that Omni movement. And lastly, for our fire mods, I just wanted to make this gun a complete laser beam and thus we put on the recoil spring. But of course, you could try out this gun with rapid fire, which I did try out in the beta. And this gun is disgusting with rapid fire. I did like the accuracy aspect of this gun more though. But there you guys go. This is the eight attachment class up that allowed me to drop an easy nuke on payback. And I recommend this gun highly. It's a really fun weapon to use and you might find more comfort with it than the XM4, the AK-74, some of the ARs in the game. But let me go ahead and show you guys a five attachment class setup real quick for those of you guys that might have this gun at a lower level or don't have gunfighter. And here it is guys, the five attachment class setup in case you don't have gunfighter. 
Uh, one of the only attachment changes was the rear grip, uh, just to the quick draw grip in case you were lower level or whatever. But I do recommend the commando grip in the end, you know, because it's the most effective attachment. But yeah, if you guys end up using the five attachment AIMS 85 or the eight attachment AIMS 85 and find it successful in your gameplay or you enjoy the new cup ahead, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. It takes a lot of time to get the gameplays for these videos and it takes some time for my editor to edit them and everything. Everything that you see here, there's a lot of production value behind it. Any appreciation would be supported. With all that being said, Shout out to the Noted Gang from the comment section below. I always gotta give a thanks to you. You're out here watching this video on your phone, on your freaking computer, in the comfort of your home. And for some reason, you sought out my video. You saw it and you thought it was interesting. And I just wanna say thank you. That's enough of my yapping. I'm sure you guys just wanna see the gameplay. This Ames 85 is very fun. And uh, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Do you think it's kinda weak or do you guys think it's in a good spot? Anyways, enjoy. We got here uh, rocket launching. <laughs> so I apologize if I play like doo doo butter right now. Oh my god, I got two double kill there. That's beautiful. This is probably like the best map. One of the best maps for this. For this gun, I guess. To get the direct impacts, or at least to get the kills real quick. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Controlling Bravo. God damn it, bro. I wish I could, like, uh, bring up the launcher a bit faster. I think I'd be tack, like, running and shit, too. That's kind of my fault. I should, like, not tack run. Just regular sprint. Yes, freaking flak jacket. What you going gonna grind next once you reach Mac for Siege? If I don't have the camo by then, uh, have the fucking. Multiplayer camo's done, obviously. And then... Obviously the zombie camos. And then we also got the Warzone camos that we can grind for. Gee, we got so much to fucking grind for. God damn. The grind really never saw us, bro. It really never saw us with this fucking year. We got zombies camos, this, or Warzone camos this year to grind. They're definitely gonna see me play a decent amount of Warzone. It's just the eliminations, I think, for the Warzone cameras. I really hope it doesn't involve getting a win. Cause I don't really get wins much, but. Like for one of like the final camos. We'll see what it takes to get those Warzone camos, I guess. Anything beyond Prestige Master? I mean, Pre once you reach Prestige Master, you have to get to level 1000. Level 1000 is like the longest part. And trust me, they're, they're probably gonna add like little things throughout the year. But the prestige system, the way it is right now, it keep, it's gonna keep people busy for a while. In my opinion. I believe so, anyways. Are they gonna have a battle pass for Black Ops 6? Yeah. It's gonna be out in November. Um, what is it? November 14th. When season 1 drops. So just wait until November 14th, and we'll have the battle pass. Right now, you know, just enjoy the game as it is, man. Enjoy grinding through the prestiges. Doing your thing. Can't get those headshots in. gonna be right here. Bye, have a great time. Yeah, we kind of clapping right now. Holy crap. Couldn't move, bro. The Vault Edition camos are not camos, they're blueprints. So yeah, you can put camos on blueprints. They're gonna look really nice. Oh, 
<laughs> bro, I freaking love this RPG, bro. Dude, the Heat won. Really fucking fun. Give me all that score, bro. Give me all that score. I got you guys with all the questions. I got the answers. Getting through these camels quick. You're losing Alpha. <laughs> you gonna save the best for last the campaign? I mean, I'll play it eventually, but shit, I'm gonna need a lot of spare time. We'll see whenever I play the campaign. If I even decide to play it. I got a headshot. <laughs> Funny as hell. Who the fuck is shooting at me? The hell? <laughs> Fucking clapping. Fuck shot at me there. Easy to just really be beaming my teammates or me or anything. Let's get out of here. Wait, what? What were you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Probably gonna die to an SMG player behind me or in front of me. They can take C. That's a smart spot, actually. Let them have it. Can you get like some UAVs or something? I did not even see, dude. I'm telling you, when I play payback, when I play payback, man, I'm sorry. We just be going in. Nice little nuke with the aims. 85. Eight attachments, by the way. Hey, my gun kind of going crazy, though. This thing kind of wild. Hope you guys enjoyed that nuke, man. That spawn trap. Spawn trap on BB going insane. Let's go, big ballers. Easy money. Gun is so good. Let's go, man. Big ballin'. You already know Apple. We're going insane. That's how you do it, man. They call him that nuke before I forget, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the AIMS 85. You no, know, I'm a little late to the party. Call, uh, using it for a video, but you know we've been using a lot of different guns. We keep it. We have variety in the channel here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We hit them hard. And the Ames 85 and the rocket launcher. Granting my rocket launcher camos. Let me know if you have diamond launchers or whatever. Uh, the Ames 85.
Still really solid since the beta. She has drop a like and subscribe for the best Black Ops 6 content and follow me over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash the mark of a hero.